ora. My name is Katie, and I'm a teacher here at Massey. First, I just want to say welcome to university. While I'm sure you're already an expert in online learning because of the recent lockdowns, Matt, one of our graduates, and I want to take a few minutes to discuss how your experience might be a little different at uni. So first off, a lot of your learning is going to be self-directed. You'll still talk with and learn from your teachers and peers, but we expect you to take responsibility for doing your readings, working through course materials, and setting a timeline to complete your assignments before they're due. Every week, you'll need to spend about 12 hours on each of your classes. Only two to three hours might be contact time with your teachers and your classmates. The rest of that time will probably be spent reading, Trust me, there will be lots of reading, and researching, writing for assessments, and interacting on stream. Hi everyone, my name is Matt, and like Katie mentioned, I'm a Massey graduate. Now, the best way to succeed at university is to show up to class, engage with the lesson, ask questions and do all the required work. To start, familiarise yourself with Stream. Do one of the Stream walkthrough videos that you'll find on the welcome page. Notice how your course sites will be organised and where to find important information. Then, map out your semester and get organised. A wall planner or a diary marked with all of the university weeks, breaks and assessment due dates will help you plan ahead for times when you might have a lot due at the same time. Finally, create a study routine. Try to find a regular time and place for studying. If you live with family or friends, let them know about your routine and ask them to support you in maintaining it so you can stay on track and not fall behind. Studying can be stressful. You're expected to submit assignments on their due date. So if you're struggling, talk to your teacher before the due date. We're pretty cool people and we're here to help you succeed. Also, it's okay to ask for help. In most courses, you won't be given exemplars, so be ready to carefully read instructions, listen to advice, and ask lots of questions. We also have an incredible pre-reading service and writing consultants who can help you make sense of instructions and improve your assignments. <music> Lastly, get to know the library services. The librarians can help you find the resources you need for any assignment. And we have a great online tool, APA Interactive, on the online writing and learning link, which you're going to hear people refer to as OWL, to guide you through referencing. OWL also has advice on different types of assignments and different writing styles. When you start at university, you're going to find a lot of new terms. Let's clear up some potentially confusing ones now. Instead of achieved, merit and excellence, universities use a percentage system that corresponds to letter grades like A, B and so on. Assessments are what your grade is based on. All the assessments in a course add up to 100% and your final grade is calculated at the end of the semester out of that 100%. If you don't submit an assignment, even if it's worth 25%, you will not get any of those 25 marks and may not pass the course. Remember when I said I'm a teacher? Our teachers have a bunch of different titles and roles. Depending on the size of your course, there might be different combinations of teacher types. 
The course coordinator is in charge of the course as a whole. They design the course and the assessments. In a small class, this person may do all the teaching and marking, but in large classes, you may only see them occasionally in lectures or on stream. In large classes offered on multiple campuses, you may also encounter an offering coordinator. This is the person in charge of the course on a specific campus. Another person you might meet is a tutor. Tutors work with small groups of students, host labs, tutorials, and workshops, and are also likely to be the person marking your assessments. Staying motivated is an important part of online learning. Sometimes you might feel lonely, but don't worry. Massey has so many communities. Your classes will have stream discussion forums, and I've found that students often create Facebook pages or WhatsApp groups to chat about the class and support each other. The College of Humanities and Social Sciences, which you're a part of, also has Base Plus to support you. And we have Maori and Pacifica communities, student associations at each campus. The opportunities for making friends are endless. A good way to avoid burnout is to break down large tasks into smaller ones. Like taking a set of readings and saying, I'm going to do one on Monday and the second one on Wednesday. I found it really helped me avoid getting overwhelmed. Also, take breaks. It seems silly, but put breaks in your study schedule. After you complete something, take a break and do something not study related. Eat a snack on your couch. Go for a walk. Pet your cat. I used to go for a walk to the mailbox every 20 minutes, just to let the information sink in. Finally, reward yourself. When you complete a week of coursework or submit that assignment on time, take a moment or more to recognise that you're doing it. You're staying on track and making progress. Do something nice for yourself, no matter how small. Well, that's it from Matt and I. We're excited to welcome you to Massey, and we're here to ensure you will succeed. Stay engaged and talk to us. Yeah.